Welcome back, everybody, to Season 1, Episode 10 of Space Engineers. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming, and as you can see, we have a beautiful new cargo rover. It's massive, okay? It's massive, and it needs to be bigger. We need some way to charge this, right? So I think the best way to do it is to do a piston coming down from one of these sides here. So that's what we're going to be working on today at the start of today. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of mining with this baby. Now, it is not the most mobile. It is not the most agile. But it will get the job done. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, we're going to make it over here. And we have to make it tall enough so that we can have a piston facing down. Let's see how tall this little bad boy is. So we're going to flip it up. And it is three high. So I think that might be... Almost perfect. I will make it a little bit taller. Okay, so we're going to go up. I don't know how far down does a piston come down. But I want to be able to charge any vehicle that I put on here. So uh, if, uh, if we have to make more, then we'll make more. Okay. That little bad boy is down, so that's good. It will also let us charge things that are going to be much bigger than this. Eventually, hopefully, we'll get something ginormous, and then it will help us charge it. So I'm feeling really good about that. Well done, Piston. Well done. And I hope that that's enough room, but now I'm thinking it won't be enough room. Yeah, if I want to charge it to the top one, it won't be. No, nope, it won't be. So I'm going to grind this. Just to, just because I'm pretty sure it won't be enough. And I don't want to risk it. So, no big deal. Uh, we will go ahead and add more junction this way. I think we're even going to do two. Just to make it right in the middle or so of the blocks here. Yeah, why not? Then we're going to make the piston come down. So, let's do the sorting one. Perfect. We'll do this. And hopefully, hopefully this will do it, guys. I want to connect the piston directly to this, but now I am getting really, really worried that that won't be close enough. So I'm going to add one of these bad boys, and then we're going to place the piston. And worst case scenario, we are going to have to do it twice. So no big deal. It's looking so good. Look at that. It's like a perfect rig. And it is connected all the way down. So I'm going to grab some resources. I have plenty. We're going to solidify this whole majestic thing. Maybe add a couple of things. Maybe a light here and there. You know. It's it's working. It's working. And it needs it needs some, some clarity there. Okay. I can add a small control panel over here. But I don't know if this is going to do what I want it to do. The other option is... Uh, the control chair or a remote control. Interesting, but I think that's to actually do other things. <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, it's fine. Maybe we'll get a control chair, because why not? How much? How expensive is this? A hundred computers? You know what? It's worth it. <laughs> Guys, we had to live a little. And we actually don't have anything to put over here. So, or over here. Who knows? You know, I just want something. Let's see how, let's see if it looks cute in the first place. And if it does, we're going for it. Okay. We just needed a little bit more resources for this. We ran out. And also we added one connector because I completely forgot that a connector was a thing that I needed. <laughs> I don't know why. And here's our little light going on. We will fix the settings on that in a little bit, but I think it kind of, it matches the car. So we'll fix those up and let's check out our control seat. Please work. Please work. So let's go down to the control panel and see what we can work with here. There's definitely stuff we need to work on. Like these lights need to be redone, but we're going to do this piston. And let's see what we can do to safely. You know what? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I just had an epiphany and... I'm not having that. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to slowly move you back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Break over there. Don't mind me. You do your business. Please don't run away. And we're going to test the piston without, hopefully, crashing our vehicle. So we can just test it, you know, by crashing our base. That's fine. 
So let's get over here, and I think we need to get the piston. Here we go. Little, little buddy. Toggle on and off, obviously. Uh, what else could we use here? Okay, so we have turn it on, extend, and retract. Look, I don't know if this is going to work, but I hope so. I really do. So the first thing is we're going to go to our inventory and we're going to change the settings on this guy because I don't think this is going to work. The velocity uh, seems good. 10 meters seems pretty high. I think it. I think a block is 2.5. So let's go down 2.5 just to see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know what the minimum distance is. I guess that just means how far in it retracts. So that's fine. And let's see. Safely detach. I have no idea what that means. Look, there's... Oh, there's velocity. 0.5. Let's see how fast that is. Look, if it's slow, we'll deal with it. Okay, well, it's doing nothing. Currently doing nothing. Oh, okay. Here we go. I just got to turn the thing on over there. Ooh. Don't fall, please. And let's go again. Try to make this work. So we're going to sit down again. Came mode this and find it. Nice. It says it's on. But has it gone down enough? Let's go down. 3.8. Oh, it's doing something. Okay, very nice. Okay, that's definitely too far. Uh, let's see if it'll reverse. It will. I don't mind the speed at which it's coming down, so that's something. And it's working. So that's really good. I just think it's going down way too much. Way, way too much. Okay, so let's just go ahead and adjust that setting. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see. If we hit the thing, then we hit the thing. Oh, wow. What a stressful ride. That was insane. So the problem is, I think I'm still, I'm still good. Like, this might do it. I'm gonna have to move forward quite a bit. Perhaps hit that. It's hard to tell. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm going to need a camera here. Oh, I don't. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. We did it. Woo. Oh, my God. It's finally locked. I don't know how, because look how far away it is. <laughs> but that's awesome. Now that we have our piston made and our vehicle is able to charge and unload everything and we have a brand new refinery and everything is going so, so well, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be working on a piston system for mining. Now, I consider several ways to do it. I consider doing it over here, which is probably where I'm going to start. And it's going to look a little bit weird, but I'm just going to add a bunch of pistons here and dig out the ground. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I need this ground to be flat anyway for me to be able to place um, some of these blocks so I can make a garage out of it. And also because why not? <laughs> I want to get some resources and it's a really cheap way to really dig down a large amount of terrain in a very short amount of time. So to start that off, I am going to make a lot of pieces over here. Uh, we have some in production already, but we're going to need... It was just going to need a lot of interior plates. Let's go ahead and make a few hundred. I'll add some of those. We're basically making... Let's just make resources. <laughs> we're a little short on everything, so we might as well. Okay, we're going to be using these, and um, I could just do it from here, now that I think about it, because, I mean, it is already connected, and it already has a conveyor system. So if we could do it from there. We'll just make two, okay? We'll make one from there and one from here, because why not? And I think these boxes will work um, as a way... Oh, wrong side. Ignore that one, okay? Uh, these boxes will work as a way to get up and down this thing. So we'll just make one over here, coming down off of there. 
Uh, let's go upwards, though. Like that. And then we'll go back to the tubes. And let me place these down, and then I will show you guys what it's sort of looking like. Okay, so I made the tubes there, and I made a conveyor. And I think underneath the conveyor, we are just going to add the pistons. So we'll add the first one. Like this, and then we'll add another one. All right. And I think we can add three. Because why not? Uh, if we add four, that's going to be a little bit gratuitous. So we're going to be a little bit less crazy. <laughs> we're just going to add three. <laughs> okay, so I had to make a large drill because I made this on large grid. And then I didn't know how to connect the pistons from the large grid to the small grid Um drills but you can do this with the with the small grid drill so like if you double click it you can see that this one's smaller and it's a lot cheaper and it definitely is worth it so if you're able to connect it uh, if you're able to do it on a small grid instead of a large grid like i did over here then you're going to be able to use this one and this is what i'm going to be using at um, our mining operation so you know how we have a gold mine over there well that one's already kind of dug out because i got my vehicle all the way in there and it got a lot of the resources but for other ones, like the iron one, that are pretty deep and they don't really have a hill to drive through, I'm going to be doing these kind of drill, I guess, platforms on top of them. And this one is just to dig out the terrain around our house. So I had to dig out a little bit to get the, the drill to go in. But don't worry, because we have three pistons and this is going to take us somewhere. Now we're going to dig down with this first, obviously, and maybe we'll even add a couple more drills uh, to this. So obviously it's not going to want to place right now because <laughs> if I'm going to have probably the same situation. Yeah, that I was having before. Oh, I'm able to place it over here. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so let me drill down with this one first, just so it makes a bigger hole. And then we'll deal with the, with the rest. Let's just make sure that the system works. So I'm going to grab the resources because we're going to need quite a few. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot of interior plates and a lot of tubes, motors, etc. And these are super heavy, so it's always pretty annoying to go around and filling it all up. But once, once that's done, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set it up. And hopefully... It will all go well. Okay. This piston over here is our recharge piston. So make sure we don't use that one. Let's hide that little guy. We're going to remove that one completely just to make sure. And now we have our pistons. Now, I don't know which one it is that's going to that's gonna work, but they all should be on. Okay, so that's... That's something. And we want to make sure the velocity is really, really slow. Okay, one of them is still going down. So that's good. I turned down the, the top two so that they don't also try to go down. Because this poor thing can barely keep up. Cool. Let's go check to make sure that there's enough stone coming in there. Very nice. I thought that there were three. But maybe I only placed two pistons. I mean, it's hard to tell at this point. Okay, it looks like the big drill is filling up really quickly and all these are filling up fairly, fairly quick. Uh, they are producing a nice amount. Nothing has gone into the large cargo yet. I swear, this thing hates my, lar my large cargo container. It never uses it. Never uses it. It is connected. I know it's connected, but nothing has yet to go in there. Um, there was some stuff, there was some stone in there, but it got transferred off already. Uh, from those and we have so much gravel guys. I don't even know what to do with this What do you guys do with this much gravel? I basically just keep tossing it in this poor box It has no chance of ever ever seeing the light of day <laughs> That poor box. Okay. Well, it is what it is Okay, lovely. I think it ended up going all the way down On that piston and there's no more so let's get on the other one and see if it will reach down a little bit more. Yeah, I think it is drilling down further. Nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it is extending. Interesting. 
It's just going slowly. I think that first it was just going really fast because I, I had it set up a little bit difficult. A little a little bit wrong. <laughs> so it's fine. Keep going. Oh, awesome. When this is done, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more drills so that we drill out more. Um, so I just attach a couple of drills to the current drill and we'll go down the sides as well. So that should be pretty cool, I hope. But to do that, I might have to dig out some of this around there. Nice. It's still going down. And gathering so much stone. Once it hits that bedrock, it's going to get me so many more resources. I'm telling you guys, pistons, that's the way to go, really, to get resources early game. Forget rovers and your ship and stuff. Like, Just make yourself a, a small grid piston. Not, not this one. This one's pricey. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This was not cheap. This was not cheap. I might keep... Uh, I don't know if I'll keep one or two pistons on this, just in case I'm ever going to need this this setup over here. But uh, obviously the drills will get will get recycled, so uh, we'll see. All right, with the stuff that we've gotten, we are going to put all these components to make thousands, thousands of components and probably even more. I'm just gathering components like crazy and I'm going to hope that one, I can finish my base because I would like to see this actually blocked off properly. That would be really nice and hopefully painted. But also I'm going to be working on a lot of things coming up next. So the next couple of episodes will be setting up these mining rigs at basically all our mining uh, locations, the silver, the gold, um, especially the iron. And I am also going to get some nickel and some silicon. And then we are going to be ready, guys. We are going to be ready because we are going into space. So as much as I can gather, we're going to keep gathering. I'm going to add a mazillion boxes back there. And we're going to stuff up on resources that we can get on this Earth-like planet. And then we're off, guys. We are off. Okay, we are going to reverse all of these. I wonder if I can reverse them all at the same time. I mean, technically, that should be fine. It shouldn't matter to reverse them all at the same time. I'm pretty sure. Unless something terrible happens here, I think it will be fine. Now I'm going to dig down a little bit more because I am 100% sure that I'm going to need more room to place these down over here. But that's fine because this area here doesn't give you enough resources anyway. So I, I know it looks dumb and it sucks because what have I done? But it's going to be just fine, guys. Just fine. And if we can dig out this whole area, that would be incredible. But I would just be happy if we can dig down a few more squares around. It's going to be a crazy amount of resources. Yes, it's stone, but don't underestimate stone, guys. I mean, this amount uh, times however much we get is going to be delicious. So let me get the resources and let's get these drills on. Okay, <laughs> I have gone a little bit crazy. Okay, but I've added like seven drills to this thing. And we're going to turn that off for a little bit. And we're going to turn... Well, the pistons are on, but that's fine because they're not moving. So no big deal. Uh, we're just going to try to weld these and see if they'll work. Like, I'm not sure, guys, but at the same time, I hope for the best. Yes, I'm going to need an insane amount of steel plates. You just keep producing, baby, and I will, I will make you work. Okay, <laughs> they're all up. They are operational. And now we just have to make sure that these pistons don't all go down at once, right? Because that would be quite a tragic event. Oh, okay. Well, it's working. At least there's that. They're running. So that's step one, complete. And now we are going to lower the pistons very, very slowly, guys. Um, we're going to be doing... Oh no, we're going to be doing this one first and we'll reverse that one and see what happens. The other one should not be moving. It should just be the one. If the other ones start moving, then I will adjust. But I believe that's the only one that's coming down right now. I hope. Oh, guys, if it doesn't explode, this is going to be awesome. 
Now there's a lot of them, so the land is clearing quite quickly. Oh, amazing. Amazing. My only problem right now is that I'm making so many components that everything's filling up really quickly. <laughs> I, I basically don't have a box that's empty at the moment. Uh, so <laughs> look at how many we're making. It's crazy. So I'm going to look at my inventory over here and hope that maybe my large cargo box has some room. I mean, it's still got room. This thing is enormous. 421. Okay, so we're good. We're good. But let's look at the refineries. Oh, yeah. They're churning. They really are. And I'm going to see if I can see stone. Uh, currently in the drills and in the refineries. All right. So right now they're not overflowing. So that's good. That's solid. Um, because last time they were. So that would have been tragic. But now they're digging through actual stone. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go place another large box at the bottom here. Uh, just, just as a precaution. Okay. I don't want to run out of room. And I just wanted another large box anyway. <laughs> so it's just an excuse to place another one down. All right, I realized that obtaining it from here was going to be a lot easier. So I'm just going to access through here. Let's type display. And hopefully I'll be able to get the rest of the materials. <laughs> I, was, I was going all the way up. So, oh, sweet. It's working. Uh, let me make sure that it's working. Large container 2. It is working indeed. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I don't have to worry about these filling up. But you think I'm crazy? Look at this one. Okay, it's already at 110 out of 421. There's so much stone. There's so much stone overflow right now. We're at 230. And basically all my containers, if you look at my containers that are home containers, they're full of stone. The refineries are going at max speed, basically. The small cargo container has some stone. This is stone. This is stone. Stone everywhere, guys. I mean, these are just drills. So, but... I mean, now I have more room, at least. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it capping out anytime soon. Because we're going to be doing... We're going to be doing something a little bit crazy. We're going to be adding more, hopefully. Very soon. But the drills are going. Look, they might... They, they might still be drilling. So I don't want to open up the third piston yet. But we will do it very soon. I think it's getting there. I think it's getting there to the third one. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. You know what we could also be doing to make it even crazier? Is go mining right now <laughs> with our ship. If we take it over there and mine out, I don't think our forges could keep up. Because we can carry at least 250 on this one. 250,000. So, whew. let's just say we're going to be having a lot of resources. We're making so much stuff. I don't even know what I'm making. I'm just making stuff. And I just realized that this thing, uh, the assembler, doesn't have any mods. So, uh, it would have been nice had I added some, but I didn't. Okay, <laughs> very nice. Alright, so that speed module should get everything in here working a lot faster. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit more power, but I think that's fine. You cannot put a yield module in them, so I can't really do that. At best, I could put, um, I believe, an efficiency module. But unfortunately, because of the way that I place this uh, facing this way, it's not really possible. If I place it there, then I won't have the access to the cargo boxes. Now, what I am thinking is I can add it there and I can add it there in the future. So I can add another assembler perhaps over here and then do one of the mods on it and do mods here. And then I'll add more forges here. And then what I can do is I can add a cargo box somewhere here attached to the forges somewhere at the front so that I have access to the cargo box very easily and I'm able to to make items. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it when it's finished. But as, as I can tell already, the refineries that I have are just simply not enough with the amount of drilling that we have at the moment. Now, this should be done by now. So let's lower it down to the third one. So I'm going to, oh, <laughs> pistol. Okay. I'm going to get this one and I'm going to reverse that one as well. And by doing so, hopefully, it will be drilling out the third and final section of this. How insane. 
Uh, I gave it a little bit of time, so hopefully my forges aren't <laughs> overloaded. But it's hard to tell, to be honest. I'm making a lot of components. I'm making a lot of things. Okay, so I've made the layout for two more refineries, as you can see over here. <laughs> Just because I went a little bit crazy. I will be using those conveyors to attach them, so I'll turn this one over here into a junction instead of a tube. So that should be pretty good, and that should connect this over here very nicely. I think this is done now, guys. I mean, I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the last of it. Now I can go crazy and I can add more, more, which I think I will eventually. But for this, this is it. This has been the pit. It is now done. I don't think there's any more, any more grinding happening here. No, nope, it has reached its limit. So that's that. Look, that's one piston, two pistons, three pistons down and seven mining. <laughs> it's like the size of my base. That's crazy. We can do another one on this side so I can continue the tube and just make another one here. Or I could just keep adding drills, which is I probably what I should do, to be honest. But for now, let's get the pistons back up. And I just wanted to show you guys sort of how we were going to do this. And I hope you enjoyed my very weird, weird <laughs> adventure at making these pistons work. Um, I actually feel pretty confident now building this stuff. It's like I'm getting it a little bit more. I still don't understand. Uh, I, I, I do not. I, I, I got these to work. I got, I got the rotors to work by an absolute miracle. Okay, I am not sure exactly how they work, and I think the real problem I have with them... Why is this shaking? Is this thing pressing on it? Okay, well, whatever. I, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Don't think about it right now. Everything's okay. Um, this <laughs> this rotor's here. I just don't understand that the the angles are throwing me off because this one's at 180 and this one's at 90. Yes, I know it's probably because I placed them uh, facing a different direction, whatever, it doesn't matter. It drives me insane and I can't get Rotor 6 to work yet. So yeah, I'm sure I will, I will read your comments. Hopefully you know how to fix it. Uh, maybe I just haven't read it yet or I just haven't thought of it, but don't feel bad if I haven't, I will eventually figure it out. Now I will keep adding more. I will keep adding more drills to this, but for now, I think that's it guys. We have, we have struggled. With the, with the rotors, but we had a really great time with the pistons. And I would highly suggest these pistons if you are going to start over on any game or if you're starting over. I will definitely would I would definitely be making them much earlier than I than I am now. I don't know why I didn't do it. I guess I was just scared of the engineering part of it, how it would work, would it explode, would it would it would it work easily or not? And I was um it's a little intimidating, right? How the mechanics work, but it's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest, and it does it by itself. I didn't really have to look at anything special, you know, to make it work. Now, I'm pretty sure if you did go a lot further out, uh, like if you made an insane amount of drills or something, you might have to add something else to give the stability. I'm actually not sure if that would work um, like it is right now. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, I'm satisfied. This has been... A wonderful journey. Our goal, guys, has been completed. We have shown the power of the piston. And now with that, we are off. Uh, we will show more piston power tomorrow. We'll do small grid pistons. And hopefully you will enjoy that because we are getting ready to go to space and we are going to gather all the resources necessary to make our journey happen. So thank you everybody so much for watching this episode. If you would like to see more episodes, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then. <laughs>